Okay, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I've been super busy. As you guys can see that this is a moving vlog. So I've been trying to get all of my stuff. I've been getting packages after packages after packages and running around and stuff like that. I'm leaving New York City, New York City, New York State. I am moving out of state away from this place. I'm not gonna be nowhere to be found around here. So I'll tell you yeah. why. I'm also gonna show you what I got from Amazon for the apartment. I pretty much got everything. All I gotta do is move in and just unpack and I'm good to go. I don't have to buy anything extra. So, so yeah. The reason why I don't want to look bald. The reason why I am leaving New York is, first of all, New York is a very expensive place to live. If you guys don't have a good job in order to be here to maintain your apartment and stuff like that, I pay currently. I'm in a one bedroom, fifteen hundred dollars a month. It's a pretty big, large one bedroom. It's extra large, and I have a patio backyard to myself. I don't even use that space or anything like that, but it's really good deal for. It's a really good deal to be in New York City and Brooklyn. You rarely find apartments like this for the amount of money that I am paying. So very expensive. COVID took away most of the good jobs. I am not working at the moment, but I am doing like, you know, little side hustles there and here and there. So it gets me by and I do have, you know, the money to take care of myself. I do need more space. Um, my mother lives with me. This is my apartment. So I'm first on the lease. My mother is like a roommate basically. So she lives with me She's older. So I worry about our safety being here and stuff like that. New York has gotten crazier and crazier since COVID. People getting slashed on the train left and right, um, stabbed in the head, stabbed at the train station. So I don't even take the train anymore, to be honest, just because there's too much stuff going on there. And I just don't want to be a part of that mix and be the lucky person that day that they picked to rob, they picked to shoot, they picked to stab. So New York has never been this bad. Um, the crime have never really been, it never really reached the city. So if you go work in a city, you don't really have nothing to worry about too much, you know, here and there, things like that, but nothing to the point that it is now. Safety is my main priority, so that's why I'm leaving as well. Affordability is not here anymore. I do not work. I do not have a $100,000 a year job to afford the rents that are here and the rents that are going to increase. Three is, I just want some quiet. Like basically where I live at, there's one house that constantly makes noise. They play loud music they um do fireworks they be like happy wednesday it's a firework here you know it's not even a holiday but they'll just do fireworks it's eight o'clock let's do a firework so that i need to get away from that drives me nuts and then i also have crazy neighbors upstairs i had one set of neighbors that um was nuts they had a kid that ran no lie front of the apartment to the back of the apartment over my head for eight hours back and forth and back and forth. playing multiple times to my landlord i did not want to call the police because i just don't like conflict like that and that was just you know too much and they ended up moving so i was like yay they moved great so i wasn't gonna have any more problems with that so the next people came along they were fine for like two months and then they just became demons like out of nowhere they basically sleep all day and they be up all night long so they're up from the, the noise starts the running the jumping over my head the music loud starts from about 12 midnight all the way to four or five o'clock in the morning so they're right in my room doing this jumping over my head just constantly jumping running and stuff like that and i paid thousands of, well eight thousand dollars on my part to live here and hear that noise constantly that drives me nuts i complain to the landlord they do nothing about it i have a leak it rains in my kitchen when the people upstairs take a shower so their shower water comes down in my kitchen drips all over my counter i have bowls over there and stuff i might insert a picture so you guys can see what i'm dealing with and i've had this leak since i've been here for almost two years they come back try to patch it up the cheap way never fix it so that in a nutshell drives me nuts and um the noise from them i cannot do it no more so those are the main reasons why i'm moving crazy neighbors loudness um crime too crazy crime over here right now and the affordability and new york just has lost a sparkle altogether i'm sad to say that to you guys that may want to move to new york i'm not discouraging anybody but you need to have a plan if you're going to move here and a lot of money in order for me to do this move i saved this whole COVID over ten thousand dollars of my own money so that's the money i took and was able to move with you have to be a really disciplined person to do that plus i was on unemployment i used my side hustles and everything like that to save all of this money so that's how i was able to get an apartment on unemployment i'm also going to make a video for you guys how i got an apartment on unemployment my credit is not that good at all and yeah i have no job so i got an apartment with no job on unemployment and mediocre credit so i'm gonna explain to you guys how i did this this is my third move and my third apartment of my own so yeah and i'm moving out of state this time so this is a bigger move than i've ever did before i bought if you see my living room right now it's full of boxes of all new stuff that i bought so we're gonna get straight into it 
and stay tuned all right don't mind my eyebrows they look crazy i'm gonna get them done do not worry so the first thing i got is this handheld shower thing i'm gonna put a picture right next to me to show you guys what it does it's just a handheld shower head i'm actually gonna show you guys what it looks like and anything that i bought on amazon or walmart i did heavy research about so you guys don't have to worry about if it's going to be good or not because i did look at the reviews i spent hours researching anything that i buy here i have a handheld shower head which i wanted and this is a higher pressure one um not sure if i'm supposed to have it where i'm moving at because of the water i don't pay water um heat i don't pay hot water or heat so yeah that's a really good thing so this is what it looks like I don't know if you go yeah you guys can see so this is the little clicker changer it changes the water has different settings this is a mirror in the back and this is just a handheld thing so you can use this for anything wash your body i like the handheld thing better and it's the little cord that comes with it okay so the second thing i got is this little tray table i got a gray marble looking one so i'm going to show you guys the tag this is not from amazon but you can find something similar i got this in case let's just say i want to eat in my room and i don't want to eat in the kitchen or the dining room because i will have a dining room slash kitchen i do have a kitchen table out there but sometimes i don't feel like eating out there so yeah, this is what it looks like. And it has just like a little folding thing in the back. You can also use this as like a laptop table if you guys are in college or if you even eat one for college and you guys don't want to eat on your bed. This would be perfect. It's a multi-purpose folding table. That is from my local area. It's by Home Basics and I paid $15 for this. I got this today. All right, next up, I'm not gonna take this out, but it's a recycling bin, so you guys can see. So we do recycle where I live now. I'm not sure about my new state but yeah i just got a recycling bin i like to have that i do recycle all the time make sure you guys do that it's very important so basically what i just do is i put a plastic bag like this inside and just put my recycling it's pretty self-explanatory i paid ten dollars for this and this one for lowe's i think i paid 9.99 from lowe's. this type of trash can if you guys can see it i don't know if you can see the label but it's like a trash can that has a lid and it's a touch lid. So you just touch the little button and the lid pops up and this keeps the smell down because me, I cannot stand to smell garbage like that. I have such a, like a really strong nose. I smell everything. So when I smell the garbage, it drives me crazy. So right now the garbage I have is like, you just like push it and the garbage goes in but this actually has a lid and this keeps the smell out and stuff like that not a fun like glamorous thing but you guys need a garbage can so definitely check out Lowe's this one was $16.99 I got this online as well okay coming up next is a mattress protector so I, this is the second one I bought I have two over there one for me and one for my mom's bed um this is just like something as this is dust proof dust might proof fluids bed bugs etc I got this in a full size I'll put the price on the screen so yeah this is the best one i found this is actually doesn't have like the plasticky feel but it has more of a material feel you can wash it so it just protects your bed let's just say you um spill a lot of stuff on your bed this is waterproof and stuff like that so it will not seep through through mattress just to keep the mattress clean basically so i always put mattress covers on all of my mattresses if i have to keep the plastic on i will but the plastic is annoying to hear when you're moving around so i get these and i'll be good to go Up is silverware i bought a whole set of silverware flatware um there is doesn't even say how much but i think this is a 24 piece mm -hmm. yeah i think it's a 24 piece silverware set so i'm gonna put that up there i'm gonna throw away all my old knives forks spoons etc so i got a brand new set pretty heavy duty i would open it but i don't really want to you guys know how a fork and spoon looks let's just look at the quality real quick Cause... all right they'll double wrap oh i got um butter knives i didn't have butter knives anyway you guys can see that they look like this they feel pretty good and they make the clang sound so that means that they're not that cheap see so yeah I got that. I have a dishwasher now for the first time ever, ever, ever in my whole life. I know I've been living hard, but <laughs> finally have a dishwasher because I am the dishwasher. I wash dishes like literally 15, not 15 times a day, but I feel like I wash it 15 times a day. It's only two of us and I wash so much dishes. So yeah, this will be great to have a brand new forks and stuff. Staying in the kitchen category, I bought a knife, just one knife. And I wanted a knife that had this cover on it just so nobody will get cut. Like when I put this in the dishwasher and the knife is up or something like that, I won't just stick my hand in there and cut myself. So it has a knife with like a sheath, that's what it's called. And it has a sharpener, but people said the sharpener doesn't work, but it's a pretty good knife. I didn't want something that was overly sharp just cause I cut myself a whole lot when I'm cutting stuff. 
so yeah it's a four and a half inch knife um brand new i needed one of these because i didn't really have any knives up is this um bath to mat extra long so i got a black one and it has like little bubbles so your feet could be massaged and stuff like that i'm gonna have a right now i just have a shower my shower is really huge i could fit like probably six people in there i never tried it but if, you know i could fit a lot of people so i have a bathtub at the new place so yeah i just bought this so nobody slips and this was the best reviewed one that i've seen it's called the yinin extra long eco-friendly bathtub mat why i-n-e-n-n -E -N -N. so like i said i did research all these products before i bought them so if you guys are looking for something this is the best reviewed one according to me okay next up i have this dish rack right here it just looks like that i got a black one it has a drying tray at the bottom and then the thing for the utensils i don't really want to take everything out but yeah it's kind of like a two-tier one i'm gonna put the picture next to because you guys can't really see it in the package but yeah, I did search and search. I have them right now, but it's metal and the metal one ends up like rusting. I bought it from Macy's, but it didn't last a long time. It was super hard to put together. So hopefully this one will be fine. And yeah, drying rack. I'm not the type to keep my dishes like in the dishwasher. I don't know if people do that because I never have a dishwasher, like I said. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna use this, put that to you. So yeah, this was the best reviewed one. Okay, so I came in the living room to show you guys. So I got this really cool gray recliner chair. It's called a pushback chair. I paid like $109 plus like $30 shipping. Came yesterday. I'm going to put the picture on the screen right here to show you. I got this in a gray color to match our couch. So yeah, I didn't want to push this in my room. So this uh, box was super heavy, but the couch, I mean the recliner chair is really cute. I always wanted one of these. So yeah, it's like a faux leather, but it looks really cool all right hopefully you guys can hear me this is a window fan that i got just to put in our dining room area just to get like you know any food smells out or if it's hot in there just pop this in the window i have the picture on the screen right now this was about 30 dollars and yeah it's a really good box this right here there's another picture on the box but these are two little end tables i'm going to show you an example when i get into the room but i bought these to put on either side of the couch just to put our drinks there anything like that these were super cheap for us at the two i think they were 34.99 i'm going to put the picture on the screen so you guys can see in the price yeah all right so i bought this from target i actually got the same exact microwave we got now as we have now i'm going to show you guys what it looks like out the box um this was around 60 dollars this is black and decker had that microwave for two apartments so i figured i would get a new one and i also got a new air fryer i'll show you that as well don't mind the microwave it's pretty old and dirty but this is how the microwave looks um just like that got the touch screen the little buttons or whatever works really well so if you guys are looking for a stainless steel microwave this would be the one to go with definitely heats up my food um doesn't blow any fuses so yeah. and how could i forget my rug i'm gonna show you on the screen what it looks like it's a, like a gray sort of shaggy rug i paid about a hundred nine dollars for this one i do have a rug currently but it's dirty i was gonna get it clean but i just want a whole new rug or whatever um this is a super cute rug it's super hard to find a rug that's a good price and good quality i did open this package so a whole eight by ten rug is in here i did open it and make sure i didn't buy the wrong size so that's gonna be perfect for my room um they packed it really well shipping was super fast no problems i love the color of the rug it's more of a darker tone gray i'm gonna put it on the screen and yeah i do love it it's super soft i'm gonna love it in my room and it has like a good amount of pattern it's not that thick but it's not thinner either so yeah if you're looking for a good rug go to amazon.com i got my last rug from walmart i'm gonna show you a little bit of dirty but yeah i paid um 97 dollars for this rug and it's huge it goes around my whole room but yeah it's just an area rug eight by ten and okay y'all so this is actually my mom's bed i do have it packed away in a box it is just the frame it does not come with the mattress i bought the mattress separately so the bed frame cost about 159 dollars, i believe plus shipping i have to put the price on the screen for you guys i did look at all the reviews to make sure it didn't make noise so fingers crossed it is not noisy it does have a high weight capacity it's metal and it has storage space for underneath so it's a really great buy next up is my little dresser it's just like a little cubby dresser has a hard top about 56 dollars. i love it and then moving on to the bathtub just a little shower caddy tension rod type thing nothing nothing special and some little sheer curtains for like six dollars all right y'all so i gotta go i gotta pack all this stuff my next video will be about everything i got from walmart for the apartment hopefully i can give you guys some more ideas and stuff like that i got a whole bunch of stuff to show you guys huge i'm gonna get to packing right now and i will see you next time bye